I'm Craig Blythe and I'm the Programme Director for the MA in Critical Learning Disability Studies <coughs> and I'm currently the Acting Programme Director for the BA in Learning Disability Studies for my colleague Ros Chapman who unfortunately is unwell at the moment so she sends her regards but can't be here <coughs> which is a real shame. <coughs> Excuse me. Most of you will know, so there's no point in me not acknowledging it, that the Learning Disability Studies programmes at Manchester, the University unfortunately took the decision last year to close them. So we're currently teaching out <coughs> the two um, programmes, both undergraduate and postgraduate. However, the University have said on record that they're committed to keeping Learning Disability Studies as an area of, of work within MIE, which is the Institute of Education that we're part of. Um, we fought long and hard to get them to see the error of their ways, um, but the decision was made to keep the courses closed. However, there are lots of positive signs that they are supporting us within disability studies. Um, some of those signs include financially supporting us today, so Dave Hall has, has contributed some money, Diane, who's our Director of Undergraduate Studies, <coughs> and also we're being funded for the Partnership Steering Group to go over to Germany later on in the year, and um, James Thompson, who is now our Vice President uh, for Social Responsibility, has been really supportive. So I think all the signs are that we are moving forward positively and we will still have learning disability studies as an activity. And I will make sure that I keep the university to their word on that. <laughs> as will Barbara, who will scare them far more than I ever did. <laughs> so the conference today, um, Learning Disability Studies in Academia, we have our conference every two years and the Partnership Steering Group decided that we'd like to do it very much in support of the Justice for LB campaign um, and you will know, <coughs> um, or most of you will know, that there was a sad event with a, a young man, Connor Sparrowhawk, um, who died needlessly in an assessment and treatment unit run by the NHS um, and we're really proud to be supporting that campaign to fight for Justice for LB. Really unfortunate circumstances but we're very lucky to have LB's mum or Connor's mum, Sarah Ryan, with us today, who will be giving us the keynote shortly. Okay. We do have a Justice for LB <laughs> fighting um, campaign fund. Um, I'll just remind people there was no registration fee for this free conference. <laughs> <laughs> but don't feel pressurised, there is a camera on. <laughs> so some housekeeping arrangements. Um, there's no fire drill today, so if the fire alarms go off, it's a genuine um, place that we'll need to evacuate. We'll go straight out of this door, out of the main doors and down the steps and away from the building. Okay, so if we hear the alarms, um, we need to, to leave. Toilets, there are male and female toilets out here. In terms of access accessible toilets, the nearest one is on the first floor. So into the lift, first floor, turn left out of the lift and it's right in front of you. There's one down at the top there. You've just got me to it. And then there's another one <laughs> on the ground floor. And if you go out of here, turn right along the corridor, it's on the right hand side. So <coughs> toilets, first floor and along um, in B block. We will have breaks throughout the day and lunch is at... Barbara, what time's lunch? 12.50. 12.50, thank you. Um, can I ask people to come back promptly because we've got a lot of pre um, presenters sort of crammed into a fairly short amount of time. Um, there is a quiet room around the back, so if you go out of here, turn left, um, you'll see a common room which you can use. The next room is a quiet room, and the next room, which is kind of behind us here, is where we'll have lunch. But we'll show people that um, later. In terms of timings for the presenters, everybody has 15 minutes of presenting plus five minutes for questions. We have got our timers at the back, you don't want to mess with. Um, <laughs> when you have five minutes left, you'll get a sign that will say five minutes. When there's one minute left, you'll get a sign that says one minute. We won't stop you, however, until the actual <coughs> 20 minutes. If you go into your times for questions, that's fine, but you will see a sign at 20 minutes that says stop, and unfortunately you'll be cut off in your prime, um, <laughs> because we need to make sure that everyone um, speaks. So just to say, have a really good day. I think we've got a great line of people. Um, I'm around all day, Barbara, and Nat. Do you want to wave on that? Um, so if anybody needs any support, anything, come and see us. Now I'm going to hand over to Diane, who's the Director <laughs> of Undergraduate Studies, who's going to say a few words. Yes, I'm not going to keep you very long. Just, first of all, a very, very warm welcome on behalf of the Manchester Institute of Education. It's wonderful to see a room full of people have made the effort to come <coughs> from such diverse areas and, and places. Um, 
I've been at this institution, I was counting up this morning, just over 18 years, which is a bit of a shock to myself. I mention that because I could possibly be standing here 15 years ago, 10 years ago, maybe just five years ago, talking about change, <coughs> reflecting on change. Higher education has gone through <coughs> an enormous lot, and those of you who are working HE in the room or have had experience of HE in the room will be aware that in this small corner of this institution, as Craig has alluded to, we've gone through quite a lot of change ourselves in the last two to three years. Change is painful. It can be painful. It has been painful. But somehow change in uh, our corner, I think, and especially with respect to the learning disabilities team, for which I, I admire them up in an utmost way, has actually promoted critical questioning, and hence the theme of today's conference. And I think it's a timely moment to ask questions about HE, beyond HE, etc. What we do as academics here um, is we teach, we do research, and that's a reflection of who we are, our expertise. But it's more than that. It's a reflection of sets of beliefs and values and probably a reflection of passions. And I think there's a lot of passion probably represented in the room today. But Looking back over my time in HE, I realised that if I did think 15 years ago, 10 years ago, even five, there are sorts of moments of crossroads when these sorts of things <coughs> rise to the surface, they come under the spotlight. And I think that's what today is about to do. So it's about critical questioning, it's about raising those debates. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of thoughtful and thought-provoking input today <laughs> that you're going to enjoy. And I suspect there won't be not an insignificant sprinkling of passion through the day. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure yeah. that you will. And a final word just again to say thank you for coming to contribute to that debate through the rest of the day. That's all I want to say. Thank you very much.